Hi, I'm Walter Gigandit, and the skill I'm going to teach you today is we're going to, I have a piece of moose bone here I got from Alaska. We're going to make a belt buckle, and I'm going to make the belt, uh, the whole thing is going to be completed so I have a belt for my pants. The, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drill out the center part where I have this drawn for the belt to slip through, and then I'll cut the outside with a hacksaw blade. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. Soon. Got the holes drilled out, and I'm just going to take a hacksaw blade and I'm going to cut the frame starting here. This will be my last cut across the back. I'm going to cut here and down the sides, and then I'll cut this last part so I have a handle to hold on while I'm cutting it. And it's, a, it's going to take a little bit of time because the hacksaw blade does a slow cut. I've got the belt buckle, I've worked on it, I've, I've cut my cuts in here, and I've cut this one halfway through this here. I cut this part off, so I'm just about ready to disconnect this. And what I've done is I've taken a round file. First, I drilled this all the way out just like this. This is a rough one that I left. I took the file and I just smoothed this part out so it's nice and smooth. This is going to be the center part of my buckle that the belt will attach to. It's going to slip up and through as a friction hold. And it'll work because I've made other ones this way. It works very well. Once I cut this off, I'll smooth off the corners. And I started my belt. I cut five strands of... This is brain tan buckskin, which I haven't taught you how to do yet. You can use cordage, you can use paracord if you want to have extra paracord around your weight. waist. Have an odd number of, of strips. I chose five, and you just start plating them. You start from the end, and you cross over one, you cross over one, and then you go over, under, over, under, and you just start plating them as you go. It's, it's pretty simple to do. You just got to keep on untangling your tails. This, this is long enough to go around me. Let me show you about how long it's got to be. So you have enough because you lose some material as you're plating and this is too it's probably going to be too long but i wanted to make sure that there was enough so this has got to be doubled over to hold on my buckle and this this is going to be i want it about this big so i have a little bit of a tail left over i can tuck it in on the side and that's it for for the length of your belt you want it around you plus probably a foot on each side and you'll be good I'm plating this as I go along. It's tied off at the bottom here. And you, you just take the outside one, you just keep on taking the outside one, going over one, under one. This Now it's this side's turn, you go over one, under one, tuck them in so that they're snug, not too tight, not too loose. Over one, under one, over one, under one and after you do a few of these you got to untangle the other end but I got a couple more to go over one under one over one under one and then I got to untangle them hi and uh, here's the belt buckle I've just finished it I've filed the insides parts filed the edges so that they're nice and smooth and just took a piece of sandpaper smoothed it off this is my bone belt buckle it's finished Here's the plated belt that I've I've got it so it, all I have to do is finish the end of it. Now to do to finish your end, you're going to just back plate it. This is going to come over the top. And I'm going to tuck it under, and this will continue on. But this is just the be I'm going to take it and tuck it around. If it goes to here. It's going to come around and go back underneath here. So I'm just following the pattern that this one had, and just, it's just going back onto itself. And come around to here. I'll do one more tuck and I can trim this off later if I want to. It's going to come underneath. Go ahead and grab it. There we go. Okay, so there's, you want to do your two outside ones first. This one's going to come over. It's going to go under. And you can use a little stick of wood to help you if you can't get it to go underneath, just to open it up. This will go back under here. Okay, so the two outside ones are done. This one's going to go under. I'm going to turn this over and back plate it. So it's going to go over this one, it's going to go underneath this one. And you, you, 
you fix them up once they once you get them all in. This comes around to here. It's going to turn and it's going to go under this part right here. Okay. This one's going to come over. This is the underside of it. It's going to come underneath that one. It's going to tuck under. Just follow your same pattern again. It's going to go in this little hole here. It's looped. We'll go through. Go through. Grab it. Pull it through. It's going to follow the same pattern. Right here it's going to come around. Tuck underneath this one. And this one is going to tuck under. It's going to fold over. Go over top of this one. It's going to tuck underneath this one. Like so. It's going to follow the pattern around. So it goes here. See where I'm going here. Goes here. Comes under this one. Comes around. Comes around right here, and it's going to tuck underneath this one. That'll that'll be your your finished end of your belt that you're going to tuck through your buckle. But that's the end of your that's the end of your belt. You just adjusted, so it's the same uh, tension as this. And then I have to do the other end, which is my buckle end. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did here. I'm going to come around my belt buckle. Tie that. I stuck it through my belt buckle one end. I'm sticking it through the other end here. Both openings. This is going to be where it attaches to my belt. So I'm going to turn this over. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna just plate this in as it is. Yeah. And that's it, you got your belt attached, you're gonna trim all your tails off here, and your belt's ready to go. Okay, I've dressed it up a little bit better. The end, the buckle end is finished. This end I've tucked it in, tightened it up a little bit more, and I'm gonna put the belt on, and it's a finished belt. Okay, this is my belt. It works by friction, so it comes through the first hole, Take it through the second one, cinch it down and it holds nice and tight. Go through my belt loop here, make sure you can tuck it under, which is how I usually do it. And there's the finished belt buckle. You have, if you take the belt apart, you have five pieces because it's a five strand belt. You have five strands of cordage that are about five feet long that you can use for whatever skill that you want to. So this is survival cords that you're carrying around your waist. And there's your simple belt. Have a nice day.